a child, what was it like being in a religious cult and going to school? I like to tell you my experiences. That's because uh, I'm doing a campaign called Cult Escape, which is creating awareness about what all the different aspects of what goes on in religious cults. This is to help people who are trapped, wounded, and also to warn people what can happen if they were to join a cult. So, what was it like at school? Well, uh, I was uh, went to school in the 70s and the 80s for 11 years. It was state school. And one word I would describe it for myself growing up was awkward. This is because uh, we were not, uh, I was not allowed to have a television, radio or music, the court banned those things. And therefore I couldn't engage in normal conversation with my school, my classmates about those sorts of things, which were the main things they would always be talking about. And, and that was awkward. Uh, also, um, we were never allowed to eat with them or uh, have anything to do with them outside of school in our houses or their houses as we were completely and utterly forbidden to, uh, to go in each other's houses and so we couldn't have sleepovers or celebrate birthdays etc with them. Also, because we had a meeting every evening in the week, uh, then of course we had to get back home anyway to get ready for that. Uh, we also had a meeting on Saturday and five on a Sunday. So, um, growing up uh, in school, we were not allowed to go into religious education and we were not allowed to go into school assembly. So for 11 years, I stood outside school assembly. And um, I remember when I was 11, looking through the window and seeing the school assembled, uh, about 1100 children. And I distinctly remember having this thought why am I so privileged and all these children have got it wrong? And that just illustrates how indoctrinated I was, even at the age of 11. Another time, we went on a school trip to Chester Cathedral. And for lunch, we went into the grounds. It was a sunny day. And uh, the school teacher said to me, John, you go and sit over there. And I had to sit about 10 yards away from my classmates to eat my sandwiches. And I remember look, them looking over and whispering and nudging, and I felt acutely embarrassed. And the reason was, was because we had to keep separate from anybody who was eating. We could not eat with them under the same roof or even in the same vicinity. And so uh, I was banned from doing that. And the school teacher got a letter uh, saying that John had to be kept separate. And of course, I found that acutely embarrassing. So also, um, there was no, I didn't have any goals in school because we were forbidden to take A-levels or have any further, ed further education like degrees. Uh, professional qualifications were banned, signing the Official Secrecy Act were banned, so professional uh, qualifications weren't necessary. Uh, we'd end up uh, working for ourselves or working for each other. And so I found that school was very boring because I didn't have anything really to go for. And uh, they were just a few of my school experiences. Um, of the book I wrote, Cult Escape, I'd just like to read a quote to you about how I felt, my reflections of being at school. Um, looking back, I remember often thinking how my classmates seemed to be relaxed and carefree about life. They seemed to know who they were and able to be themselves and express themselves. They seemed to be free and enjoying their life. In contrast, I felt hemmed in with a life of laws, rules and regulations, bans, forbidding, forbidden areas and restrictions. Looking back, I was one screwed up child. And so I'd like to leave you with a question. Although it's not a criminal offence to re restrict children and not allow them to uh, play and to be with all, any other children on religious grounds, is it abuse? What do you think? Please leave a comment down below. See you soon.